And with some positive news, Taryn, 30-year-old Matthew O'Burke has been released from the hospital, we're told, but he does still suffer from third-degree burns across his forehead and on his arm. He was the passenger in the car that was rear-ended by an alleged drunk driver. That 25-year-old driver was in court today where he learned that if he's convicted, he could spend the next 20 years in prison. This video from a nearby gas station in Sterling Heights shows how devastating this crash was. Must have punctured the, the gas line or something. And all, uh, obviously, fuel spilled on the on the ground, and then ultimately it ignited as well. Ended up catching the F-150 on fire. It was just before two on Sunday morning. A uh, F-150 was stopped at the traffic light at southbound Van Dyke near 15 Mile. Just sitting there, and ultimately, uh, a Dodge Charger was traveling also southbound, rear-ended the F-150 at a high rate of speed. In that Ford F-150, 54-year-old Melissa Oberg, who according to a GoFundMe page set up for the family, worked as a critical care technician at a local hospital. She was the driver and died on scene. Her 30-year-old son, Matthew, was the passenger. He was able to escape. He had severe burns to himself and ultimately was transported to the hospital. According to the family, he has third-degree burns and other injuries and is recovering at home. The driver of the Dodge Challenger has been identified as 25-year-old Datuan Austin of Detroit, who was allegedly drunk at the time. It doesn't make any sense. I, I, I don't get it. Time and time again, it happens. Uh, you know, the person that caused this accident is drinking and driving, ends up walking away unscathed yeah. physically. Austin was arraigned on two felonies, operating while intoxicated causing death, a 15-year felony, and operating while intoxicated causing serious injury, a five-year felony. Um, he was given a $150,000 bond, and now he awaits, uh, you know, to continue the court process. There. Police tell us the real tragedy in all of this, it could have all been avoided. Uber or Lyft, you can call and, uh, or, you know, call a friend. I mean, there's so many other options. Don't get behind the wheel. You ultimately put your life at risk as well as anybody else that's on the roadway. The GoFundMe is raising money for the son who survived and his sister to help pay for a funeral for their mother and expenses needed in his recovery. We will have a link at fox2detroit.com. And police say even though this crime was likely caught on a number of security cameras in the area, they're still looking for potential witnesses. More specifically, they would like to know where Austin was. He's the sus suspect in all this prior to getting into that crash. They want to know if he was at a uh, whatever establishment or where he might have been. So if you have that information, you're asked to call the Sterling Heights Police Department. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.